Today I'm going to be re reviewing this Oroka Home Rotary Cheese Grater that was recently sent to me by the brand. Now this is going to be a manual one. They do sell like electric ones. Back back when I was a kid, we had something called the salad shooter. When I was growing up, this, this is going to be a manual one though, not an electric one. So let me go ahead and show you how this is going to assemble on this. This is going to be relatively simple to use. You're going to have your handle that's going to go, I'm guessing on the side here. Nope, that's just the release and the lock. Let me pull out this part, and yep, this is where the handle is going to go, go at. So this actually going, the handle is going to connect onto the back of here, and you can choose what type of cheese that you want with all of these different options that are going to be in here. So you're going to essentially have three different heads. So you're going to have the finely grated cheese, you're going to have larger grated cheese, and then you're going to have this one that's in here that's going to actually be cheese slices. So to use this, it's just quite literally going to go right back inside of here. Your handle is then going to clip right onto there, like so. And that's actually going to keep it in place as well. And then this part is going to slide. It looks, this should be the base. So let's see here. This is going to be what pushes it down. Oh, yep, I got it upside down. That's why. Okay. So this is then going to slide right inside of here like this. I think I got it backwards. Yep, slides right inside of here like that, and that clips into place. So this is what it should look like once it's assembled. So it just slides like this. Your cheese is actually going to go in the top here, and then this is going to be what you're going to use to push down on your cheese. So essentially how it works is you have your cheese, and then as you turn this over and over again, your cheese slices are then going to come out the middle. So with slicing cheese, it might not work as good as it would with, you know, getting the um, finely grated or the large grated. Obviously, if you're slicing just a couple slices of cheese, it's probably not going to be worth getting this out for. But maybe you're making a giant cheese tray or something like that. This would work great. Now, here's the only issue that I foresee with this, and that is simply the size of this at the top. So it's not going to be large enough if you've got a big giant block of cheese. So you are going to have to use a cut it down to where it will fit inside of this rectangle. And I'll give you the measurements on that here in a minute. But whether you're shredding it or whether you're slicing it, it is going to need to be small enough to fit inside of there. So say you have a, I think they're two pound blocks of cheese. Um, they're going to be way too large to fit in here. So you're going to have to kind of like chop them in half if you're going to want to get slices out of them. And then the one pound should fit, I believe. Let me go ahead and grab a tape measure. I got one sitting right here. So across the top, I've only got two and a half inches by about two and three quarters at the top. And then it actually kind of tapers down a little bit here at the bottom to about two and a quarter, two and three eighths. So you can see that is kind of tapered on there. So it actually will not fit all of the different sizes of cheese that you might have. It is going to be relatively really easy for you to turn that sort of thing. Let me see if I can find some cheese or something I can use to use this and grate it with. So of course we are out of cheese. Um, so I'm actually going to be trying this with a piece of butter in here. So I'm just going to kind of take it and put it right down inside. What you're going to do is you're going to push down on this while turning at the same time. And so essentially it's just going to, you're going to keep turning until it is done. And you can see here that it made all of the different sliced parts of this. Now, since this is butter and not cheese, what happened is a lot of the butter got squished up in here. That could happen if your cheese is incredibly soft as well. So this is really only going to work if you have like a type of cheese that is not, is not as soft of a cheese, especially if you're using something like this that you're going to try and make these slices with like so. If you're using one of these rotary shredders, so these here, it will handle that soft cheese without any issue. You are just gonna get some waste that's gonna end up getting stuck, but that's relatively easy to fix, is all you have to do for this is to take the handle off. You just push down on this part and it slides right out. So just push down on there. And then now this is ready to come right out as well. So it does make it really easy to clean. And then any cheese that's stuck in there, you can pop off and get out as well. So overall, definitely a really nice product.